on sale and on the way. Pretty sure I already gave you a big update update. But uh yeah, I got most of the trees cleared out here and uh drug drug a bunch of the, the big the big logs that were in here, drug them out of the back. Pretty sure I showed part of that. I literally hadn't done anything for two or three days because uh, my arm has just been completely blown out because I did all that shit two days in a row and I should have only done one day's worth. Yeah, you know, day out the rest in between minimum. But uh hopefully I'm not just making a whole lot of noise touching this tripod the whole time. Son of a dick. Hope I didn't ruin all my audio. I'm not gonna redo it. Anyway, I was at the I was I was passing by the home di help home home store the other day and they had some of these in stock they did and they haven't for quite a quite a while. I haven't been able to find any um, at any of the big box stores. So I just try to drive by every time I'm close to one. I almost took the suburban yesterday, but luckily I didn't. And so uh I was able to acquire three more. Fuck that a minute. And it's so, uh, it's such a fucking, it's such a hassle getting these things because, you know, you gotta lift them up with the forklift. They're incredibly heavy. And then, you know, they always just send like one person out. And it's like, look, man, I ain't moving this shit. <laughs> and so then when they do bring somebody else, they bring like an old person. Like, okay, we got, we got one old man and one young dude. And I'm like, um, all right, whatever. Like, y'all the one working, but I hate to I hate to see all abusing these old folks when there's plenty of young bucks working at this store that could, you know, push these things around. But whatever, I digress. And it's good to do so. <laughs> smoking but I gotta sharpen the blades now. They were sharp. I'm going through two of these dull which is a which is a hell of a testament hell of a testament hell of a, a testimony and testament mixed together hell of a testament to uh to El Diablo Sawzall blades. As y'all remember I used one blade to rip through every one of those. It took longer but it didn't dull. I uh I forgot to turn y'all on again. Not very not not very considerate of me not being a very considerate lover going to turn you on is that too much oh my god
All right, I got oak. I got more oak to chop up. Oak kindling, oak kindling, oak kindling, pine. Uh, what will be pine kindling once it dries out. That's a mixture of pine and oak that needs to be chopped up. That's pear and that's pine. Obviously you can't cook on pine, but it'll be fine for fires. And I hate that I've been just burning up all my pear wood that I wanted to use for smoking. But it's fine because technically they're a nuisance tree. And there's one, and there's one, and there's one, and there's one, and there's one. I'm gonna let all these just grow. Let them grow, chop them down. Got some on the wood lines. That's a big one. Just gonna thin out all this shit. That pine's gotta come down. This giant pine has gotta come down. Oh my goodness. That oak tree's gotta come down. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna leave everything from about there on down, but all this shit, all the way back 10, 15 feet, everything's gotta come down, all of it. I'm over here chucking logs like there's no tomorrow. I don't even think you're in the shop. Looks so like I told you, chucking logs. Can you even? So take that train on up to the zoo. And don't look back on what you've been through. Because everyone's got a Monday. It looks like shit and it must be America. It burns so quick and this must be America. It's nice to be liked, but it's better by far to get paid. I know that most of the friends that I have don't really see it that way. But if you could give them each one wish, how much do you want to bet? They'd wish success for themselves and their friends. And that would include lots of money. Yes, you've got to have shit loads of money. Yes, you surely must have lots of M O N M M M M E U I money. I don't know what this reminds me of, like Blair Witch maybe, or what is the one with M. Light? Shamalamala. Shamalamala, Shamalololi. I think it's the village.
happened was with my other pair of boots, uh, you can't kickstart a motorcycle with regular boots that aren't hard, plastic or whatever. You can rip a hole in them because they're leather, no matter how good they are, how tough they are. It was all for the good because those were wides because my dumb ass, like, just for some pair, oh, buy one pair, like one, you know, different boot, different cut, right? So just wides in one boot, not necessarily in the other boots, right? So uh, always check for fitment, which apparently I didn't on that one because these are not wide, same boots I got on my feet, but just not wides and so much more comfortable. My feet don't hurt at the end of the day. Way better, but as you can see, rode the old motor guy yesterday for a minute. And sure enough, I noticed last night when I was, I was like, son of a bitch, I ordered myself a pair of motor boots. Motor boots. That's why I, I said it. And uh, yeah, so on sale and on the way. So we're gonna. Uh, yeah, I got. I got to stay busy. If I, you know, if I sit, I don't want to. I don't. I don't, I don't want a lumberjack right now because uh, I had a lot of lumberjacking. Man, I got it. I was just thinking. I was like, oh yeah, just because I'm not out here doesn't mean I doesn't mean I don't need to get that freaking tin, right? Sheet metal. How you doing? Probably do that next. Uh, try to do that the next month. Um, would have been nice to do it now. About to get cold again. Had a little break. Had it straight. Was cold. Had a little weird. Hello, little kitten. So, uh, yeah, do some shit. We're gonna do it. So I got these here. Pretty sure I showed y'all me chainsawing out, chain, chain, chainsawing, chainsawing them up. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Not 100. percent I uh, took two of them. Had my son take two of them and uh, put them right here to finish off my pile so that I don't have any spikes that can ricochet. But yeah, anyway, so I'm gonna take those four, I'm gonna start building up, I want two sides, right? I want two sides kind of come out at a wangle uh, since I have no berm there and no berm there in order to, uh, for the safety factors. And also, cause I got steel targets coming, they're gonna need to be spread out a little bit here. So for the time being, to start out, I need to uh, do some fitment. So I'm just going to take two and two and just start them. Just start them, I am. So yeah, we're going to do that. <laughs> freaking cat in my fan my radiator fan so that's number number two or three at this point you know they're 51 bucks a pop so I'm about 150 or 100 bucks in at this point uh, so that's why I had the gate open so UPS pull up I'm like what are they coming up for I'm like oh looky looky so, so they say to order a half size up I typically wear 11 and a half or 12 but usually like 11 and a half so we'll try them out here reminds me of ski boots Back when I used to snow ski. This is by far the weirdest. So, they got the three clips. This one is all the way out on the bottom and it's still too super tight. Of course, it's probably supposed to be kind of tight. And to, uh, to tighten them up here, you just... You, it's got these jobby dudes on the back and you just slide it in. And then it, you know, it notches in for each one you slide it in. And then it's all this all plastic obviously and this is plastic, but it's got a little metal a little metal pin through here that slides into these plastic grooves. Let's see, so you get it inside this little groove here, and then that little pin, you see it through that hole maybe, and you pull it back, and that locks it down. This left boot is a lot. Looser after I flexed it out, 
that bottom strap doesn't feel as tight like it did a while ago. I mean, not that I'm going to ride anyway. Too damn cold. Bike probably wouldn't even start. It's already a thousand times better. I guess I'm sure I'm keeping them because I'm about to walk outside in them. Oh yeah. That's going to be awesome. That kicks good. Okay, well, here's hoping you can see something. I mentioned to y'all the other day. Pretty sure on one of my one of my one of my films, one of my one of my tapings. Yeah, get a new put a new clutch fan in because you know I, I like to put them in every six months. That's how I roll. I probably have too many clothes on for this operation, but maybe not because you know it's like 40 degrees. So Let's see how it goes. <laughs> cranked up all day and you know it's a little double wide you know we got a hole in the roof and the floor so it comes out quick it does the it goes away quick our, our warm air so it's, it's hot in here but I got another I put another sand on it even though I totally didn't get of all the real the, the swirl marks you know when I built this and I don't know if you remember I was just rushing through it well not built it but when I was sanding it but mainly I was concerned about the edges the edges where I had Made the edges smooth. we uh, had a bunch of straight. I'm not worried about these random ones as much. Don't blend in with the stain. But, so we're going to clean it off with some denatured alcohol, and then we'll give it a restain, and then let it dry, and then we'll try our seal coat of epoxy. getting some decent internet yeah I'm getting some fixed wireless working over a cell network so hopefully this will be the hopefully this will be the business the money don't go near as far as it used to and obviously you know we still got so much work to do in the house and you know and I, I buy stuff all the time but yeah I mean popcorn maker $300 coffee pot freaking uh, damn $70 Cuisinart, freaking, uh, well, more than that, on sale for $60, $69, uh, Cuisinart Dutch oven, turkey pan back there, if you can even saunt it, that we didn't even use, because it didn't even come in time, that'll be for Christmas turkey, uh, you know, all the lights that I have all over the place, um, you know, why well, you keep on, you know, you got a roof and shit, but that's what I mean, it's like, it's, I just, you know, I got a, it's a little thing, yeah, so we're, we're got a rich, right, I mean, we got, got cabinets full of groceries, Right, got cabinets full of groceries, pantries, pantries, pantry full of food, plenty of soda, plenty of alcohol, um, you know, everything we need, just not enough money to like, you know, have $10,000 for a roof for, without saving for a year or two. <laughs> I mean, look at the freezer though, ah, oh, the freezer is just chocked full, did a big did a big $300 shop today to replenish my steak. I mean, this is just, you know, I was down to, I was down to like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 14. I was down to 14 steaks. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 feet. I was down to 14 steaks. So I was getting to be dire straight, so I was down to 14 steaks. I didn't buy it. This is, the chicken was already there. I already had 15 packs of chicken. Um, got ribs in the bottom. After Christmas, after Christmas, after Thanksgiving, I found turkeys on sale. Oh, you can't even sign them, but I got two turkeys in the bottom that were like 68 cents a pound for some butter balls or some ridiculous price. Got a couple of those. So yeah, we're ghetto rich. My jersey didn't come yet. Alright, here we go.
fails, I break out the uh, break out the motorcycle, do a little bit of riding. The neighbor kid's gotta gotta follow suit. And and truth be told, I'm the same way. Oh, the, look at the close up. I gotta I should turn y'all for that action like that. Yeah, way better. And uh, and yeah, truth be told, I'm the same way. I hear him riding, and I'm like, oh, me too. Funny, I don't do the same with him with guns very often, but most of my neighbors do. Well, my neighbors that shoot do. I start shooting a gun, and they're like, hey, I can do that too. I got one of them things. So this damn thing, I had it flipped over because it was against, I think a tree that was, I don't know, it was against something, a tree that used to exist. And uh, I moved it out of the way to cut down. Damn thing filled with water in the rain. And then it froze. So I broke it all up this morning. And as you can see, I still got big old hunkin', big old hunkin' chunkins of ice. I do. But, uh, took care of that. And, uh, flipped it back over. So if it's still good, it'll still stay good. You know, in case, in case somebody ever wants to use it. Probably not me. There are definitely some significant, uh, I don't know if they're gopher holes or like moles or what they are. I didn't hit any, but I saw a couple. That's probably more like a snake hole or just a cow. A cow hoof that really dug into the ground, stepped hard into the ground. But that trip you up walking if you're not careful. This might have been what I seen, which probably would have been transversible on the motorcycle, but unlikely that that was necessarily it, because I was staying more up this way. But if I don't see another one pop up, then that was probably it. I see my dirt bike, see my trail. Stop. That might have been it. What are you getting frisky for, buddy? Stop getting frisky. There's, I rode through here once or twice. Yeah, it might have, oh, could have been this one. Probably this one. That's probably the one it was. Definitely could have been that one. When I went the other way the first time. That'll take you right to off a motorcycle at will. That's no good. Super deep. One wonders how something like that would even form. Back away from the fence. Back away from the fence. the new uh, S20 Ultra and the only reason I got this is because it has a hundred times zoom as opposed to the note which I probably should have gotten the note honestly this appears in the mic zoom is set to match the camera zoom okay that's a big zoom That's all the way back. Oh no, it's not all the way back. That's all the way back. Alright. Picture in the middle of it. Oh! Oh! That's a switcheroo. Hey, how you doing? 
mid record very cool apologize flash mid record oh nice very nice okay pretty happy with this let's come in with a new filming camera okay see how this see how this works out um got the old using the old camera tech i am oh that's not a shut door obviously i'm using the camera tech so we're using the new samsung camera tech the new the new cell phone you know it's funny my other my other my my freaking note 9 easily recorded like it recorded 4k video i think it was 4k i'm pretty sure it recorded in 4k um yeah it, it did not that i'm broadcasting that oh you know what that's why i stopped i recorded it in 4k when i first got it i was thinking oh i'll use this as one of my video phones and then i was not able to uh oh probably need to check this too before i make too many mad videos uh this one may not even be going up it was it literally my program couldn't even read the format it couldn't even read uh it can which i don't understand because cyberlink can produce 4k but apparently it couldn't read the 4k video produced by my samsung note 9 it looks so weird looking at a pink case to my phone i may have to change this out i may get tired of this but uh anyway this has a steady shot and the phone's just shaking like a son of a gun right now We'll see if it's whether or not that's coming across. I don't think it's going to because I watched some previews of it from some postings of people on YouTube and they're going down bumpy trails on mountain bikes and running and I mean it doesn't look great but they're like they're exaggerating. They're trying to like see how bad they can make it look. It doesn't look great but it looks better than than this because I've used my phone to record also just a selfie video like this and while I'm driving and the action cam it stays steady and it's got the but this is just bouncing all over the place so we'll see how this goes I didn't even bring my other camera for this for the cops you see all these loose dogs y'all gonna do anything about it oh they're all running back to the house now One, two, three, four, five. I don't know why this fool got so many dogs called the police last week which I'm not want to do but you can't have a pack of six damn dog damn pit bulls loose you telling me they're not going to be aggressive on something or somebody there's just no way like I used to walk down this way and they had one dog and I stopped walking this direction because that dog started getting aggressive and I'm like well I, I don't really want to shoot a dog and plus their family and I last thing I need to do is you know what I mean like family or not like the same reason when these other bad words stole lucky when lucky was a puppy come on man like i had every intention my first instinct was i had just been here a year i just said oh man come on man living the oh my goodness it was everything i could do to like for the first time in my life have to go oh dude you got two boys to worry about you got like it's not just you anymore you're not the only one of consequence anymore. There's other people that are going to suffer from your actions. So for the first time in life, I had to actually like kind of, you know, I mean, not the first time in my life, but for one of the, you know, my every intention was to go down there and just shed blood big time. You know, just unleash a house of horrors on these degenerate creatures that attempt to call themselves human, stealing another man's freaking, oh my God, knowing full well where that dog came from and full well it wasn't there so yeah hard not to but i didn't I'm a good boy you know it's first instinct so even still you know but then i think i don't want to shoot any dogs or anybody or cause any undue stresses or drama when i can just walk on a different block or walk a different direction so that's what i started doing and then last time i come up to the store this direction i see six of those effers out there i'm like how the eight you gonna have six dang dogs man i don't know what so i call the sheriff i'm like hey you know a dude down the road somebody house down the road from me they got like six pit bulls off leashes just running wild as a pack they come up in your yard no they didn't not yet they'd be dead if they did but i mean because it, it, it six dogs like, like so 
freaking stupid. Like, what good is going to come of that? How is that going to be a good, like, outcome? You know what I mean? Like, somebody biking down the wall, somebody walking, grandma on a four-wheeler who goes right across the street, they get a little bit aggressive one day, you know, she gets a little bit too close, I don't even know, I don't even know, I, I shudder to think. And then, the laws are so stupid and cops are so stupid that, oh, we'll do something about that after it happens. I mean, you know, that's not what they said, but that's what, so I bet they didn't even go out and say anything to do. And maybe those are the nicest dogs, period. Okay, well, you still gotta house them up, dude, because they're running around the goddamn street and they're on a blind hill. So somebody come tearing around the hill in the corner and there's six dang dogs in the road. What happens when they swerve to miss them and they hit a kid in the yard or they kill themselves and the wife sues the hell out of you and these shit bags ain't got nothing to sue for because they got damn porn shit living in a goddamn double wide they don't even fucking own. I mean, if you rent a double, I mean, if you live in a double wide, you poor as shit. If you rent a double wide, you you just po. You can't even afford the last two letters. You just po. My God, yeah, this this not cussing thing is just not even going to happen apparently. Or I can't talk to y'all. Well, I bet you this is not usable video. If it is, then more power to you for the freaking uh for the uh. So for the Samsung technology of the stabilization, electronic stabilization, ESI, maybe interface, electronic stabilization, I don't know what it's called, um, but yeah, getting a little warm, and so here we are in the middle of the pandemic, of course, in uh, at least my time still, and you know, there's all these variants, there's been a UK variant now, and now a South African variant that is at this time is recently discovered, and apparently has much more spikes than the previous mutation and the original, and so with those are like keys to the cells, so it's going to be that much more potentially dangerous and certainly that much more contagious, likely. And who's to even say at this point whether or not the vaccines that we're currently, you know, rolling out are even going to be viable? And almost certainly not going to be viable if we keep on getting variant mutations because people don't wear masks. And so on that topic, like, you know, you're just having all these idiots that are just not wearing masks, and then you have lots of idiots that are just... They'll have the thinnest little surgical mask uh, and often not even applied properly to the facial region. And there's been studies done, which ironically never really were done until after COVID came about, but between the, the efficacy of, of uh, a typical surgical mask worn properly via, you know, versus like a double or triple layer cloth mask, like a double layer cloth mask with a, with a filter insert. And double layer cloth mask with filter insert like protects close to 70% oftentimes. Sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less accordingly. <clears throat> Whereas surgical masks are closer to like the 30, 38% range. So cloth masks are by far worn effectively and worn properly, um, are, are far more proficient in protecting others and indeed yourself from viral loads than, than a typical surgical mask. That being said, like with these new variants, I'm like, I've been doing my cloth mask with the filter inside, you know, the little, you know, um, with the disposable mask over it. Like before I was just doing the cloth mask, um, filter inside, now cloth, disposable mask over it. I got, I got an M95 with me today. I think I'm going to wear this N95, M, M, is it M or is it N? It's, it's right off the road and die and then it doesn't matter. Okay, whatever it is. I think it's N, I think it's M95, and I always thought it was N95, I don't know, whatever, now I'm too confused, I've confused myself. Um, whenever I found out what it was, I'd been calling it the wrong thing for years, and now I'm confused, now I don't know which I used to call it now, which I call it now, because I've corrected myself on so many multitude of occasions of the last 12, 13 months, whatever, 9 months, whatever it's freaking been, 10 months, 12 months, it's, not, it's been like, yeah, 10, 11, oh my goodness. Alright, so, yeah, so I think I'm going to do the, I think I'm going to do the N95 underneath my my cloth mask and then for this quick grocery shop and then if I get too hot maybe I think I'll bring my disposable with me and maybe I'll have to do a quick switcheroo or something I don't know but um yeah anyway that's what I'm going oh yeah this can't wait to get a new truck so I uh off to the I did the, I did the pickup order the curbside pickup but I'm gonna go ahead and get a few things that I did not place in that part of the order and, uh, and that's it. And mainly, I'm just making this video to test this steady stuff, test, 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 test this steady shot. Um, 
Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Oh, well, my car is driving weird. I hope it's okay. Of course, I hadn't driven this truck in a very long time. It's been months, probably. Except for, like, pulling trees and stuff. Alright. Quit. I might need to cut that pine, too. I think I'm going to. It's pretty... I think I'm going to have to. That is really tall. That is totally taking some shit out if it falls. And pines are notoriously weak. Shallow roots. Well, it's official. I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to finally order a new switch for my four-wheel <laughs> four to two-wheel, four-wheel drive. Oh my goodness, this bottom button has completely, I, I don't know, maybe you can still engage it with a pin now. You can probably push, push that piece of metal in. Feels like, but I should probably go ahead and spend the 20 bucks or whatever it costs and replace this sucker. <laughs> well, certainly, without doubt, one could potentially have too much asparagus, but... I don't think we're there yet. I don't think we've entered the too much zone yet on the asparagus, the asparagus situation. But we're probably getting close. Oh, speaking of close, is that better? Oh my goodness. greens and collard greens and seasoned Italian green beans and all the beans and all the things and all the things and the beans 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 don't buy a trailer and you won't be as mad as I am every day you will actually have floors and stuff and things might actually go your way shooby dooby dooby doo hey 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 shooby dooby dooby doo hey 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 Probably didn't need another olive because I already had one in the pantry. But you can't really have too many olives. There's a Ruger puppy. How you doing? Yep, 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 yep. Probably, uh, probably got too much stuff. Probably been buying. Oh, there was another tomato. Son of a gun. There was one hiding all that. Saunt it. Saunt it. Buddy, are you ready? You go inside? Real bad, terrible? Well, come on. Tell me about it. Oh, you had to have some groceries, and then you had to get some titty. You son of a bitch! Probably about time to probably about time to stock up on chili. I can't even I can't even see the cans over the I can't even see the cans over the top of the noodles. That's not a good sign. Not a good sign at all. Oh my goodness! Oh, there's an extra can. How you doing? Oh, that's a no bean. That's when I first. That's when the pandemic first hit, and we didn't have any choice. They were, I got there too late and everybody had already bought out all the canned goods. So I bought what I could. I mean, that's where I got originally, the, that's why I got the giant cans of collard greens and stuff because like that was all that was left. Of course, we ended up eating those for New Year's, so it's fine. And I replaced them because, you know, it's good eating if you got nothing else. And, 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 and if not, if you're good, then we can wait till New Year and eat them again. Even though, even though the wife likes to make her own from scratch and season them and stuff, these are actually just as good. These Margaret Homes are pretty delicious. Okay, why am I showing you all this? Stop it. I don't know if it's because my parents had locks on the freezers and kept track of food like nothing else and just always, you know, was, uh, was inquisitive or Questioning our food intake. That's cat food. I got more of that too, though. Um, those are COVID onions, man. Those hit the floor, rolled out of my basket. I gotta really get into the insides of those for a, before I get to those. Um, or if it's the fact that I just went it without food for so long, you know, being a a minimum wage worker for many years and even when I made my big money, you know, I was only making 13, 14 dollars an hour for the most part, most of my jobs. So I don't know if it's that and the fact that I starved myself for so many years. But I, I don't even think, I'm not even sure we had this much food on hand ever 
as a kid from living upper middle class with both my parents making decent wages. Um, and I remember coming here and telling my kid, telling my kid, you know, y'all are, are too hungry all the time. Y'all need to learn to suffer more. You're always, you know, bitching about there's nothing to eat or that you're always hungry. It's like, y'all need to learn to be hungry. Like, y'all need to be, you know, y'all need to live in a hungry. Food is expensive. You know what I mean? Food is expensive. And y'all gonna have a whole lot of times in your life probably where you ain't got the money to eat and you're going to be hungry. So y'all better get used to it now. Which is really probably mean and cruel, but, you know, it's the life I knew. And I think I was trying to prepare them for the, you know, for the easiest, easiest time later. So they didn't think that, you know, they had it too good at home. And, man, I'm eating like a king. Or we're eating like kings and queens. I don't know if I could just afford a new footstool. Haha. <laughs> I mean, I can, but see, it's every time, right? Every time something's comes up. So they're going to have to test all these plugs, and I'm going to have to get in here. I definitely got to get in here before I make an appointment and just throw a bunch of shit away, I guess. I just could, I guess, throw all this shit away. Just throw it all away. Throw that bookshelf away. Throw the Vizio box away. I mean, not that big of a deal, but yeah, so they can get to all the plugs because they got to get to... I don't remember, but they got to get to a bunch of plugs. I'm presumably plugs behind some of this shit that they... Oh, my God. I'll watch, I'll move it all and there'll be nothing. <laughs>